What's going on guys, it's your boy James here with Beards and Cars, back with another video. So, in this video guys, I want to explain to some of you guys about the fork in your beard. Some of you are getting a fork area, maybe your beard's doing something like this, I don't know. I don't know what it may be, but let me explain to you guys how I got past this, past this part of my beard. And excuse my beard, it is humid outside, and anytime it's humid outside, my beard is really, really up. So... Anyways, nonetheless, guys, what I want to talk about is this area right here. So, if you was just to look at my beard right here, let me get it, get it close to what it would look like if it was just laying. So, if you just to look at my beard right here, sorry about all the lights in the back, guys. This is what you would see, a nice full beard. So, a lot of people, including myself, will start, you know, as you're, this hair here grows really slow and it doesn't get very long. I mean, it's, it doesn't get very long at all. It's nowhere near the length of the rest of my beard here. So usually when your beard is growing out, man, the light's really messing with me. When your, beard is, when your beard is growing out, usually what will happen is you'll get this split here. You'll get this fork, this fork look here to where all this looks real thick and, uh, so all this area will look real thick and then this will be thinner looking so the best thing to do in that situation for me personally you know you can let it grow or you can let it drive you crazy so instead of letting it grow and drive me crazy what I would do is I would keep letting this area grow but I would trim here of course at that time it was more up here but I would trim these edges right here like this and let this and the only reason I would trim this was to let this grow down into this length so this would be a problem area is what I would call that this problem area this week you would let this area here trim it and let this area here grow down to it and the more you do that the more this comes down the more you know it goes the more this keeps you know this effect keeps happening so you trim it up let this grow trim it up let this grow and eventually you have what I would call a nice full looking beard now, if you're to look here, these hairs here, these chin hairs are super long, man. So if you just dig back in here a little ways, look at the difference. Look at the difference in that. So I got a couple long chin hairs there, but if you're to look right in this area, you see the difference in that length? I mean, that's a lot longer. So in all reality, I have a fork in my beard too, but you can't see it because it's so full back behind here. This is so thick. Now these, this area here is pretty much the same, but when it gets out to the very end of the chin, man, that's where you, that's where I get that fork because of all this is real weak here. So you, you tend to get like a little bit of a split. And like I said, my, my, I'm so thick in this area that you can't really see it. But if I was to pull it out and show it to you like that, you would definitely, man, my beard's getting long. Good! But you would definitely notice that, man. You know, if when I show it to you. Other than that, you're not going to see it because of the way that I, you know, I trim my beard, you know. While I was growing, I would trim here on the edges a little bit, let this go down, trim here on the edge a little bit, let this go down. I'd do the same thing in the back, you know. This back would grow a little bit slower and it still is a real long slope and that's cool. But I would kind of nib this area a little bit and let this back grow down. And the same thing here. Nib it, nib it, nib it, nib it, let it grow down. Nib it, nib it, let it grow down. And I'm not talking about on a daily basis, guys. I'm talking about like once a month, uh, maybe once every other month. Some people, their beard grows faster twice, you know, maybe you trim it twice a month. But that's what it took to get my beard to the shape it is now. And like I said, you can't see it unless I point it out to you. Uh, and it's not, it isn't nowhere near bad enough to even bother me at all anymore. But, you know, earlier on growing the beard, it was definitely bothering me. It was, it, was, it was definitely shorter here. I could see it a lot more. And then as I started letting it all fill in and cutting the sides a little bit, of course, it all just started flowing together and uh, started making more sense. So with that being said, don't let the fork in the beard fool you. Uh, don't let it bother you. Just trim it up a little bit. Trim it, trim the, the longer part of the fork just to let the center part of it grow down. 
or don't trim it all. Some people just rock it, man. Some people just rock it and let it grow. But for me, I have to trim it because that was a that was a problem that was bothering me and making me want to cut my beard. I mean, not cut it. I mean, I don't mean just cut it. It's making me want to cut it off because I was like, well, shit, I can't even grow a long beard because this fork is here and this, this part's shorter. And so just small trims, small trims, small trims until this comes down. And then once you get it down to a certain length, it's almost like it just starts all flowing together. Even though it's still shorter, it just kind of all flows together. And I ain't trimmed my beard in a while, but you can see I don't have any kind of fork look going to it. I don't have any longer hairs over here. I got a couple, a couple flyaways here and there because I ain't trimmed, but for the most part, it's all the same length. You know, and that's without nibbing any trimming or anything. You know, and I haven't trimmed in months, but it doesn't fork out anymore. It just all looks real full. So with that being said, hope that helps some of you guys. Um, they're dealing with the fork looking beard whatever you want to call it um, the split the fork the uh, some people call it like a terminal length and you will get a terminal length at some point in time uh, most people do anyway but with that being said hopefully that helps somebody you guys if you watch my channel and I help you in any way please hit the thumbs up leave a comment because I really like to know if it's helping anybody or if you're in that situation and don't forget to subscribe see you guys in the next one